Welcome to Train Signal. You're watching Get Your Old Domain Controllers Up to Date. We're going to be talking about how to upgrade a Server 2003 to Server 2008. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at that from the standpoint of Hank buying a company over in Tokyo that happens to have a Server 2003 machine. And so we need to be able to integrate that machine into our Server 2008 environment. And so that's going to require an upgrade. We're going to be talking a little bit about at least some of the advantages of the Server 2008 domain functional level. And remember, that's when your domain only has Server 2008 domain controllers. And then, of course, we're going to talk about the upgrade process. And there's a little bit of a trick to the upgrade process that I'm going to share with you, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started with the story here. Hank just bought a company over in Tokyo, and now you get to integrate that company's network into your network. Oh, the joys. It's a small company. He bought it for, you know, a million five. And uh, it's called Verde Petra. It's a 10-person shop. It focuses on the Asian markets in terms of finances and securities and whatnot. Their network is pretty simple. It's a one-domain controller setup. It has 10 client machines, an outsourced email solution, and a couple of network printers. So their domain controller is running a 32-bit edition of Server 2003. And we need to upgrade that guy to Server 2008 so we can take advantage of all the extras that a Server 2008 functional level provides. Because remember, this is now your network. Hank bought it, and now you're responsible for it. So keep that in mind that now we need to make sure that we get all the toys to play with that we have in our network over in the Tokyo network. Now before we do anything to integrate, though, we need to bring up the version level of the operating system. Uh, we need to upgrade it to Server 2008. We're going to be using the Enterprise 32-bit edition. Okay. Now, when we upgrade the domain controller to 2008, we can have a 2008 functional level, right? So we get a couple of nifty bonus items. First of all, we get distributed file system replication. Now basically what this means to you is that your replication between DCs when they start talking together and they start to match information up with one another it just goes a little bit more smoothly alright uh, let's talk about in advanced encryption standard supports for Kerberos logins now here's the deal in server 2008 there's a lot more security in the whole mix okay so basically what I want you to understand about this whole mess is that logins are more secure the last interactive logon information screen. Now this is kind of a fun tool for Server 2008, and actually you can use it for Vista too. But it's a group policy object, and you see the location uh, listed out here. It's under computer configuration, policies, administrative templates, Windows components, Windows logon options, and then the actual item, the policy you would enable is display information about previous logons during user logon. So you get to see who's logged on to the machine last, you know, the last couple of logons. It's kind of a cool little toy. Uh, it may or may not be that useful to you. I'm not going to show it to you. I'll let that be your homework, okay? But it is kind of a cool thing. Here's a big one, though, okay? If you don't have a Server 2008 functional level, you don't get to use that fine-grained password policies that I taught you a while back in this video series. So, I mean, this is a big one. All right, so if you are only running a Server 2003 functional level, well, you don't get that whole fine-grained password policies, all right? All right, so there's just a few of the advantages of having a Server 2008 functional level. And since we are using fine-grained password policies in Globomantics.com as a whole network, we're going to want to probably use that over in Tokyo as well, all right? So... Let's talk about the upgrade process. Now, the upgrade process is not difficult, but there is a slight hitch. Uh, but before we do anything, we have to first make sure that the hardware is up to spec. Remember that you need at least a half a gig of RAM, preferably a 2 gigahertz or faster processor, and all that stuff I taught you at the very beginning of this course. Now, if you're upgrading a domain controller, okay, if you're doing that, which is, that's, by the way, what we're going to be doing, uh, you need to grab some scripts off of the Server 2008 disk. There's actually a folder called AD Prep that I'm going to show you where it's at. We need to drag that folder onto the hard disk, and we need to run a couple of scripts, AD Prep slash Forest Prep and AD Prep slash Domain Prep. So we actually have two scripts or two switches of the same script that we need to run before we go to start installing over the top of Server 2003. Now, the rest of the upgrade process is pretty simple. I mean, you, you put in the CD, and you click on the upgrade option uh, when it becomes available, and you install as normal. 
Now, by the way, if upgrade, as you see here in my screenshot, if your server 2003 isn't up to snuff, isn't up to par, then it'll tell you. It'll tell you what you need to do in order to make it a viable machine to actually upgrade server 2002. So a fairly advanced thing. Now, I do want to put a quick note in here. You cannot upgrade server 2000 to server 2008 directly. Okay? Don't even try it. If you need to upgrade a server 2000 machine to server 2008, you must first upgrade it to 2003. Then you can upgrade it to 2008. Now that's not the case of what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a server 2003 machine, right? So tell you what, uh, I think I've had enough blah, blah, blah. And you really want to see this done, right? So I'm going to go ahead and move on over to the Verde Petra DC. And we're actually going to uh, make all this happen. All right, so here we are over on the Server 2003 machine. And I'm going to go ahead and log into it here. All right, now the first thing I need to do is I need to prepare the domain controller database for upgrades. So I'm going to go here to my computer. You notice here that I've actually already inserted the Server 2008 DVD. I'm going to go into Explore. Now I'm going to go into Sources. And here in the Sources folder, you see this AD Prep folder. Well, I need to grab this folder. I'm going to copy it real quick. I'm going to go over to the C drive, and I'm going to do a quick paste. Nothing complex there. I'm just copying this folder AD prep over. All right, now I'm going to go to the command prompt. In order to get this guy ready, I'm going to first go to the C drive. Whoops, let's try a CD slash. There we go. And now I'm going to do a quick DIR. And I'm going to do a CD AD prep. All right, so now I'm in the AD prep directory. So now I'm going to type AD prep space slash forest prep. And what this little script does is it's going to get the Active Directory database ready to accept a Server 2008 configuration. Okay? All right, it's going to give us a little bit of message here. It's just going to say, hey, you know, make sure that any Windows 2000 machines are upgraded. Yeah, well, we don't have any 2000 machines. So we're just going to go ahead and type the letter C as it tells us here. It says, you know, if all your existing Win 2000 Active Directory domain controllers meet this requirement, type C and then press Enter to continue. All right, well, the way we go. All right, so it's not going to take terrible long, but it's probably going to take just long enough to be slightly annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause this video. And then as soon as it's done running the forest prep set of commands, then I'll come back and we'll run domain prep. All right, so you see here that AD prep has successfully updated the forest-wide information. All right, well, that's neat. Let's go ahead and let's do it one more time for the domain prep now. We'll do AD prep slash domain prep. Now, as soon as I ran that, you'll notice here that it says AD prep detected that the domain is not in native mode. Hmm, okay, well let's go in and let's check and see what's going on with this server. Let's go to the Start menu, Administrative Tools, and we'll go into Active Directory Users and Computers. Let's see what functional level we're currently running on Verde Petra. I'm going to click right-click on verdepetra.com, the domain, and click on Raise Domain Functional Level. Oh, well, this is interesting. Right now, the current domain domain function levels Windows 2000 mixed. What do we want to do? Do we want it to run in Server 2000 native or do we want it to run in Server 2003? Well, I think it's probably going to be better off to force to run Server 2003. What do you think? So we only have one domain controller in this little domain. So having it not run in Windows 2000 mode makes a lot of sense, right? So we'll go ahead and we'll click on Raise. It's going to tell me that this change affects the entire domain. After you raise the domain function level, it cannot be reversed. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that doesn't bother me a bit. It's going to tell me that the function level was raised successfully. The new function level will now replicate to each domain controller. Yeah, okay, that's fine. There's only one domain controller. We don't care. So now let's go back to the command prompt. We have now updated our function level, and that's what this is, the native mode. This is the functional level. The functional level is running in Windows 2000 mixed. That's not what we want, okay? All right, so now let's try it one more time, AD prep slash domain prep. And, wow, that was really fast. There obviously there wasn't much in this domain. I mean, it's a single domain, single domain controller functional, you know, kind of thing. All right, well, you know what? By running those two scripts, we have now prepared this domain controller to be upgraded to Server 2008. 
Now, by the way, if you have multiple domain controllers that you're going to be upgrading to Server 2008, you only have to do this once, okay? Because the changes that are made to the Active Directory database by these two commands, adprep slash forest prep and adprep slash domain prep, the changes that these scripts make are in the database, okay? And those databases will be replicated out to the other domain controllers. So if you have a lot of domain controllers, you may want to wait a little bit or maybe run a rep admin or, you know, just force a synchronization of all of your domain controllers before you start upgrading stuff, okay? All right, so now we can go ahead and we'll just type in here exit. And now we'll go ahead and we'll close this guy out. And now we are now ready to go ahead and run our upgrade. All right, so I'm going to go here to the D drive. This is where I'm at. So I'm just going to go back over here to the uh, DVD drive, and I'm going to run setup from inside of Server 2003. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Install Now. All right, it's going to say, ask me, do I want to go online to get the latest updates? Um, yeah, I'll skip that for right now. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do an Enterprise Full Installation. We're going to tell it Next. And we'll accept the license terms, of course. We'll tell it Next. And look, the upgrade option is now available to us, so we are A-OK. -okay. Now again, if the upgrade option is grayed out, we would find why that is down here at the bottom of this dialog box. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click on Upgrade. And now it's going to give us a warning that says, hey, make sure software vendors support your software on Server 2008. Yes, if you have third-party software running on your 2003 domain controller make sure that it's compatible or maybe there might be a patch or an upgrade available for it to run on server 2008 okay all right well that's nice um, it's going to give us any other information uh, looks like that I do have an issue with some multimedia audio controller I don't care it's a server <laughs> you know I don't need hi-fi stereo on my server but if there are issues I think this is kind of cool that it'll actually tell you what the issues are and we'll try to find a potential solution We'll tell it next, and now it's just the same, okay? Now, this upgrade might take a lot longer than a standard installation, all right? Just so you know, because now we have other stuff to play with in the sandbox. I mean, it's not just a blank machine, right? We have a full Active Directory. We've got all of the hardware in the box. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that can go into it, but the nice thing about it is is that we can just basically go drink a cup of coffee at this point, and hopefully it doesn't blow up and everything will be okay when we get back. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right now while this thing is doing its upgrades, and it might take a while for it to complete, so as soon as it does, I'll be right back and we'll go again. All right, so you see here that what we have is we have a completely upgraded domain controller. Now I'm going to be logging in as the Verde Petra administrator, and the upgrade procedure isn't that different than the installation procedure. And you see, I have kind of a kind of a resolution issue happening here. <laughs> the uh, resolution is set a little wrong after going through the upgrade process, but that's okay. That's not a big deal. I can fix that really super easy. But you know, I mean, what do you do? I mean, you make sure that you run AD prep, right? You make sure that your server is up to snuff. And by the way, you need to have at least Windows Server 2003 Service Pack One. And probably you're going to have, you should be running Service Pack 2 anyway on the Server 2003 box by now at this point in time in the Server 2003 history in terms of updates. But I mean, other than that, I mean, the upgrade process is not that hard. You run AD prep, check your requirements, make sure everything's up to snuff. You run the upgrade wizard and, and boom, I mean, it's done. Uh, looks like it's asking me about that multimedia audio controller. And you know what? I don't care. It's an audio controller. <laughs> if there's like an issue with the network card, then I might need to use Windows Update or maybe even install a new network card itself. Now, you see here I'm having kind of an issue with the resolution, so let's go ahead and let's fix that here real quick. Since I am on a virtual machine, it's just a little bit wonky, so it doesn't take very much to fix this at all. I need to be 800 by 600 pixels. There we go. Now everything looks right. Okay, so here we are with our new Server 2008 machine for VerdePetra.com. And notice that the full computer name is VerdePetra DC. Let's see what's role, what roles it's running here. It looks like we do have Active Directory Domain Services, DNS Server File Services, and Network Policy and Access Services. 
All right, so there's one more thing that I need to do after making this whole adjustment and upgrade process. Let's go into the Active Directory Domain Services, and we need to boost up our functional level, right? Remember how we were talking about the advantages of having a Server 2008 functional level? Well, we want those. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's right-click on verdepetra.com. We will raise the domain functional level. Right now, let's set to Server 2003. That's not what we want. All right, so we want to we want it to be moved up to server 2008, which is as high as we can go. <laughs> and remember, after you raise the domain function level, it cannot be reversed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on raise. It's gonna tell me after you raise the function level, it cannot be reversed. Yes, I know. Tell it okay. All right, so now it says the function level was raised successfully. The new function level will now replicate to each Active Directory domain controller in the domain. All right, well that's really neat, but. Uh, just like last time we raised the, the functional level, doesn't make any difference because we only have one domain controller. All right, so that's what we're working with. We have our server set up, we have our functional level set. So now let's go ahead and let's go back on over to the slides. Let's do some wrap up and let's move on to the next one. All right, so in terms of critical vocabulary, um, there's nothing. <laughs> I, th that's it. I, you know, there's no new words here in this particular video. But after watching this video, you should be able to prepare Server 2003 domain controller for upgrade to Server 2008 by using that AD prep script that we grabbed off of the Windows Server 2008 DVD. You should also be able to now upgrade a Server 2003 domain controller to Server 2008. And quite frankly, you should be able to upgrade any Server 2003 <laughs> machine <laughs> over to 2008 as well. And last but not least, you should be able to describe the advantages of running a Server 2008 functional level. Okay? And I listed those off for you earlier on in this video. Okay, so that wraps this one up. It's a pretty short video because next what we're going to be talking about is Active Directory Federation Services and also Trusts. We're going to be talking about those in the next video. So I'll see you then.